Okay, here we are in the code. And by the way, if you didn't watch the first part of this video, please go do that first. Follow this link, watch the first part of the video first. So now we're in the code and it looks a little bit different because I've decided that we're going to implement all of the things that we're talking about in a real actual game. So that should give you guys a clear idea of what's going on instead of just reading a command line printout. Ugh. So, um, here we are. Let's first implement our dot product. I've put the equation over on the right. We're going to do this all in one line. We're going to return a dot x times b dot x plus a dot y times b dot y. And it's not in the formula, but these are actually 3D vectors because it's a 3D game. So we can just add a Z in there. A dot Z times B dot Z. I mean, that's all it is. All of these formulas so far, they work just the same with three dimensions as they do with two. So there we have it. That's our dot product. Now, uh, let's come down here and take a look at this section of code. This is the code that determines how much damage the player will do when they get hit when when the when he hits someone with with a with like a short range attack like a melee attack so i've got a few setup functions for us first i grab the view vector that's v uh, from the entity that gets hit you can think of this as like the blue player the blue player is the object that got hit by our attack and P player here, he's like the red player, he's the attacker. <clears throat> so BR is a vector from the hit object, the blue player, to the red player. And I store that in BR and I normalize it because we always want to use normal vectors when we're doing dot products. Uh, and this view vector is already normalized for us. So that's great. Let's get started. Let's do this dot product if the dot product of the view vector and the blue to red vector is less than let's say 0 0.05 then the damage I'm sorry that should be negative 0 0.05 then the damage will be let's say nine 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 that should be enough damage to kill anybody. So why negative 0 0.05? Well, like we saw before, the when the vectors are pointing exactly opposite directions, then the dot product is negative 1 for unit length vectors. But if they're pointing almost opposite directions, then the dot product is going to be like negative 0.8. So we want to allow a little bit of wiggle room. We'll give anything within like a 45 or 50 degree range. Uh, we'll pretend anything like that as a backstab. So we'll save that and uh, let's load it up in the game see how it does. Okay, here we are in game and this player in front of me, he is the stand-in for the blue player and I will be the red player and I will attack him and as you can see uh, this blood is appearing and that's kind of a visual effect but uh, I'm really not doing any damage to him so now I'm gonna go around behind and see if our dot product is working for oh okay I think it's working I think it worked so that's good it worked so now you know how to use dot products to make uh, backstabbing attacks and in fact you could use dot products to do many many other things dot products are incredibly useful although they won't keep you from being face stabbed in Team Fortress 2 but we will more fully explore the uses of dot products in later videos